it's just some of those memories that you treasure and they made the time they are worthwhile. An amazing trigger. So it will be impossible for you to continue sleeping, you know. Into the scalp, and I would in mind that you would. 
So anyway, on Saturday we'll do a show there And our uniforms and then we'll do a, some home clothes And they had to be decent And then we'll, after dinner No, no, actually We spent the whole day maybe washing the clothes And hanging them, folding them And then you just spend time chatting with your friends and stuff not exactly for we had church we were all supposed to meet and go for bible study basically we just like church because there would be praise and worship then one of the students like the students in church of um, the christian union would you know preach and then after the preaching friend Christine and I were notorious for skipping this particular gathering. We, we did it. It's not like we, we were Christians, but then we just didn't enjoy, you know, meeting, you know, spending our Saturday gathering to, you know, pray because on Sunday morning we're gonna do the same thing, you know. Anyways, we were always looking forward to Saturday dinner, which was really the same meal that we had the whole week, but after dinner or during the dinner, according to the time that the TV will be brought to us, because the boys would carry the TV from the head teacher's office and bring it to us, and then me, the prefect in charge of entertainment, I would CD in, then we would watch maximum of two or three movies. Mainly it was two because people would get so sleepy and they would start falling asleep in the halls. And the matron would come, slam the metallic door with a stick and say, Hey, if you're sleeping, go to bed. She was famous for saying, Get out. I get out. <laughs> So she would slam the stick on the metal door of the hall and say, Get out, go to bed. And people would go to sleep. Anyway, I'll tell you guys more of my best, most memorable moments, I guess, attending boarding school in the next video.
himself, you know, straight hair and you know, easy afro hair life but after that it's gonna start falling off and it's gonna be very little in the head because my best friend has treated hair and she has very little hair on her head and I already do not have a lot of hair on my head so I'm afraid if I cross over to treating my hair set me back a few more years because as I said there is some growth but it's very minimal and I'm hoping with the right product I could possibly be able to get it to some you know length where I can hold up on so I'm truly hoping that
some 